Alright, this is one of the first big movies of 2013, and what is it? It's... <sighs> Oz the Great and Powerful is a movie that follows James Franco, who plays the Wizard of Oz, or as they call him, Oz. And he's a small-time magician in Kansas, and he wishes his life to be more. He wants to be famous, he wants to be great and remembered. Events transpire, and he gets onto this big balloon, and he gets transported to the world of Oz. And he is famed to be the wizard that they've been waiting for, who will save them from the Wicked Witch, and all he has to do is kill her, and he becomes the king, and he will be rich forever. But he's not an actual wizard, so the movie just goes from there. And going into this movie, I was kind of excited because I really like Sam Raimi as a director. I thought the movie looked visually stunning in the trailer. It looked beautiful. And I was hoping that the story would go places that were unexpected. And only one of those things came to play, and that was the visuals. The visuals in this movie are fantastic. They're some of the best visuals I've seen in years. Granted, it's a lot of green screen and CGI, but it's still, it's very well done. The environments are very nice to look at. And Sam Raimi's the director, so I really wanted him to bring his unique style to this movie. And there were a few shots where I was like, okay, yeah, that's Sam Raimi. But the rest of the movie just, it's generic. The story itself is very generic. There's no flair to it. There's nothing that sets it apart from dozens of other movies you've seen like this before, aside from the visuals. The visuals in this movie are amazing. They're one of the only things that really kept me in there. James Franco in the movie, who plays Oz, I thought was very good. He was a character that I enjoyed watching on screen. He had charisma and he was enjoyable. Now there are three witches in this movie. You have Michelle Williams, Rachel Weisz, and Mila Kunis. Michelle Williams and Rachel Weisz are both very good in the movie. They play the good witch and the evil-ish witch. And they're both good in their roles. They're both enjoyable to watch on screen and I got a feel for what their characters were like early on and then I enjoyed what they were doing. But the third one is Mila Kunis and she is terrible in this movie. Not completely on her own, it's not her fault completely, but she's just not good in this movie and that's because she was miscast. I blame the casting director, I also blame her. You can blame the casting director up to a point, and I do, but there's a point where the actor or actress has to at least try, and I can see that Mila Kunis was trying, I get it, but... This character was just so not for her. I don't want to go too much into it because it would get spoilery, but the, her character in this movie, I hated her, first of all. At the beginning, she, she's just so easily manipulated and then she gets thrust into a certain situation which from there on the performance turns from eh, it's not that good to fucking terrible. Completely miscast and that's one of the things that really brought the movie down aside from the generic story and Sam Raimi not really being Sam Raimi. I, I do sound like I'm shitting on this movie, but there were enjoyable parts. Zach Braff plays a monkey who follows around James Franco, and he's very enjoyable in the movie. He provided a lot of laughs, and it was very fun when he was on screen. And the climax of the movie is very enjoyable, too. I like seeing the ways they were tricking the witches and how they were finally getting the upper hand. That was enjoyable. The... The climax of the movie, James Franco, Zach Braff, the visuals, those are all really good in the movie. However, you just have all this, this stuff like Mila Kunis in there and the story is nothing special at all and Sam Raimi didn't really come to play. So you know what? I have to give Oz a C. It's really not worth your time that much. If you're really excited for the movie, I guess go see it for the visuals in theaters. But if not, just wait till this movie comes out on DVD and rent it and see how you feel about it. There's no real reason to see it in theaters, in my opinion, and I'm sad to say that, but you know what? It is what it is. So you guys looking forward to Oz the Great and Powerful, or if you were watching this review after it's come out, did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? What was your favorite character in the movie? Mine was Zach Braff. Write me for comments down there and tell me what you think. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button down there, because if you don't, I'll figure out how to get magic to come out of my hands.